Hi everyone, I'm Miss Brianna from the Hopewell Branch Library and welcome to another edition of the Middle Grade Book Club. Today I'm going to share with you the books of Erin and Trotta Kelly. And first I'm going to give you a brief biography of her life and then I will give you an introduction to each of her books and later on I've prepared a word game that we can play together. So let's get started. Erin and Trotta Kelly is a New York Times bestselling author whose work has been translated into several languages. Erin was raised in Louisiana, but now lives in Delaware, near Philadelphia. She teaches at Hamline University and Rosemont College. She also teaches fiction with Gotham Writers Workshop. Erin is also a short story writer. Her short fiction has been nominated for the Philippines Free Press Literary Award for Short Fiction and the Pushcart Prize. Erin is Filipina American. Her mother was the first in her family to immigrate to the United States from the Philippines and now lives in Cebu. Erin and Trotta Kelly writes books for and about middle school children. Her books have diverse characters and realistic situations. Many of her characters feel like outsiders at home or at school, but with the help of supportive adults around them, they find the strength to make small changes in their lives. In an interview on the Reading Rockets website, Erin and Trotta Kelly said that her insight into these themes is inspired by her own experience as a first-generation Filipina-American raised in a town that lacked much diversity. She said she creates characters and themes in her stories with the hope of helping children feel less alone in the world. To date, Erin has written seven children's books. Here is a brief description of each. Black Bird Fly. Future rock star or friendless misfit? That's no choice at all. In this acclaimed novel, 12-year-old Apple grapples with being different, with friends and backstabbers, and with following her dreams. Apple has always felt a little different from her classmates. She and her mother moved to Louisiana from the Philippines when she was little, and her mother still cooks Filipino foods and chastises Apple for becoming too American. When Apple's friends turn on her and everything about her life starts to seem weird and embarrassing, Apple turns to music. If she can just save enough to buy a guitar and learn to play, maybe she can change herself. It might be the music that saves her, or it might be her two new friends who show her how special she really is. The Land of Forgotten Girls in this book, two sisters from the Philippines, 12-year-old Sol and 6-year-old Ming, learn the true meaning of family. Soledad has always been able to escape into the stories she creates, just like her mother always could, and Soledad has needed that escape more than ever in the five years since her mother and sister died and her father moves Sol and her youngest sister from the Philippines to Louisiana. After her father leaves, all Sol and Ming have is their evil stepmother, Via. Sol has protected Ming all this time, but then Ming begins to believe that Auntie Jove, their mythical world-traveling aunt, is really going to come rescue them. Can Sol protect Ming from this impossible hope? Acclaimed and award-winning author Erin and Trotta Kelly writes masterfully about the challenges of finding hope in impossible circumstances. In this novel that will appeal to fans of Cynthia Kato Hada and Tang Ha Lai. Hello Universe! This Newbery Award winner is a funny and poignant neighborhood story about unexpected friendships. In one day, four lives weave together in unexpected ways. Virgil Salinas is shy and kind-hearted and feels out of place in his crazy-about-sports family. Valencia Somerset, who is deaf, is smart, brave, and secretly lonely, and she loves everything about nature. Kaori Tanaka is a self-proclaimed psychic whose little sister Jen is always following her around. And Chet Bolins wishes the weird kids would stop being so different so he could concentrate on basketball. They aren't friends, at least not until Chet pulls a prank that traps Virgil and his pet guinea pig at the bottom of a well. This disaster leads Kaori, Jen, and Valencia on an epic quest to find missing Virgil. Through luck, smarts, bravery, and a little help from the universe, a rescue is performed, a bully is put in his place, and friendship blooms. You go first. Studies about friendship say that a friendship with give and take can make you feel emotionally better and can even improve your health but they don't tell you how to make friends in middle school when your whole world is falling apart. 12-year-old Charlotte Lockard and 11-year-old Ben Boxer are separated by more than a thousand miles. On the surface, their lives seem vastly different. Charlotte lives near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, while Ben is in the small town of Lannister, Louisiana. Charlotte wants to be a geologist and keeps a rock collection in her room. Ben is obsessed with Harry Potter, presidential history, and recycling, but the two have more in common than they think. They're both highly gifted, they're both experiencing family turmoil, and they both sit alone at lunch. During the course of one week, Charlotte and Ben, friends connected only by an online Scrabble game, 
will intersect in unexpected ways as they struggle to navigate the turmoil of middle school. As their problems grow, they transition from texting to talking, building a friendship that takes them through the hard times. And they learn that when someone has your back, even hundreds of miles away, it becomes easier to make new friends closer to home. Melania the Distant Sea Aaron and Trotta Kelly's debut fantasy novel is inspired by Filipino folklore and is a gorgeous literary adventure about bravery, friendship, self-reliance, and the choice between accepting fate or forging your own path. Life is difficult on the island of San Laguita. To the west looms a vengeful mountain, one that threatens to collapse and bury the village at any moment. To the north, a dangerous fog swallows sailors who dare to venture out, looking for a more hospitable land. And what does the future hold for young girls? Chores and more chores. When Lalani Sarita's mother falls gravely ill, 12-year-old Lalani faces an impossible task. She must leave San Laguita and find the riches of the legendary Mount Isa, which towers on an island to the north. But generations of men and boys have died on the same quest. How can an ordinary girl survive the epic tests of the archipelago? And how will she manage without Veda, her best friend? Lalani of the Distant Sea is perfect for fans of Lauren Wolk's Beyond the Bright Sea and Kelly Barnhill's The Girl Who Drank the Moon. We Dream of Space. This Newbery Honor book is a great middle grade novel about family, friendship, science, and exploration. Cash Fitch and Bird Nelson Thomas are three siblings in seventh grade together in Park, Delaware. In 1986, as the country waits for the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger, they each struggle with their own personal anxieties. Cash, who loves basketball but has a newly broken wrist, is in danger of failing seventh grade for the second time. Fitch spends every afternoon playing major havoc at the arcade on Main and wrestles with an explosive temper that he doesn't understand. And Bird, his 12-year-old twin, dreams of being NASA's first female shuttle commander, but feels like she's disappearing. The Nelson Thomas children exist in their own orbits, circling a tense and unpredictable household with little in common except an enthusiastic science teacher named Ms. Salonga. As the launch of the Challenger approaches, Ms. Salonga gives her students a project in which they are separated into spacecraft crews and must create and complete a mission. When the fated day finally arrives, it changes all of their lives and brings them together in unexpected ways. Told in three alternating points of view, We Dream of Space is an unforgettable and thematically rich novel. And We Dream of Space is illustrated throughout by the author. And earlier this month, Erin and Trotta Kelly released Maybe Maybe Marisol Rainey, an illustrated novel about summer, friendship, and overcoming fears told with warm humor and undeniable appeal. Eight-year-old Marisol Rainey's mother was born in the Philippines. Marisol's father works and lives part-time on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. And Marisol, who has a big imagination and likes to name inanimate objects, has a tree in her backyard she calls Papina, but she's way too scared to climb it. This all makes Marisol the only girl in her small Louisiana town with a mother who was born elsewhere and a father who lives elsewhere most of the time, the only girl who's fearful of adventure and fun. Will Marisol be able to salvage her summer and have fun with Jada, her best friend? Maybe. Will Marisol figure out how to get annoying Evie Smith to leave her alone? Maybe. Will Marisol ever get to spend enough real time with her father? Maybe. Will Marisol find the courage to climb Papina? Maybe. Told in short chapters with illustrations by the author on nearly every page, Maybe Maybe Marisol Rainey is a must-have for early elementary grade readers. Next, I have a word game for you to try. If you'll remember and you go first, the main characters Charlotte and Ben meet while playing an online Scrabble game. For this video, I've created a word scramble game. I'm going to first show you a word with the letters out of order, and you will need to put the letters in order to find the correct word. The words I chose are related to space in honor of Aaron's book, We Dream of Space. I'll give you a few seconds to find each word. If you need more time, just press the pause button. Here is the first clue. And the answer is shuttle. Here's the next clue. And the answer is launch. Here's the next clue. And the answer is challenger. Here's the next clue. And the answer is galaxy. 
Here's the next clue. And the answer is astronaut. Here's the last clue. And the answer is commander. I hope you enjoyed learning about Erin and Trotta Kelly and all of her fabulous books. If you would like to find out more information about her, please visit her website at www.erinandtrottakelly.com. There you will find fun facts, upcoming events, and book club resources. Also, if you'd like to find more great books that feature Asian American and Pacific Islander authors and themes, you can try one of these great books. If you would like to borrow any of the books I shared with you today, please visit our website at www.mcl.org or you can download our new app called My MCLS MJ to your tablet or smartphone. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon at the library.